here's the idea. We're going to start with two edges side by side on a flat surface. That's your table. So we can fit them together. And just like the, we did before, we're going to put a temporary piece along the bottom to hold it in place, one on each side. Then we're going to flip the thing over into the bowl and tape on the bottom. And again, that's going to hold these in place so that we can do the long piece of seam on the outside.
want to separate the pole from the individual gore so that we can position it first and then it will guide the, the, the gores into the right place. So, you peel it back past where the lines converge so that when you cut it, the pole part will be separated from the gores. And then we're only working with this, and then this one's straight. And it's the same exercise we did before, when the trials are fit. The curved lines onto curved lines, right? Okay. And now that's just one small piece that we can tape on, and that goes on pretty smooth. See that? Try to look here, and you can be doing this or that. <laughs> this helps you guide it straight down. If you don't get it right, you lift it up and do it again until you are happy with the alignment. So, okay, here we are. So it just takes fingertip pressure. Put these down, and then I'll remove. have my, the plane of my eyes coincide with the plane that goes through the center of the earth and the center of this core. So that essentially my motion is straight down and I try to line up with my two guides at the equator. And then I just move it down. And another thing that I like to do is as I'm putting this one down, I'll move these others out of the way, just so that I don't inadvertently you know, tape this one as I go, like that. <laughs> so again, I'll get my eye playing where I want it. I use the previous one as a guide, I use my equator marks as a guide, 